You know, people say that you should focus on your career and getting a good job to make money. And there's truth to that. There's some truth to that, I should say. But there's always another side to the story because if that was all it took for you to increase your income, find a good job, a good career, everybody in the world would be doing great, but they're not. By the way, do you see my dogs out there? It's warm here in Los Angeles. They go in the fountain. Those German shepherds are, uh, it's a little bit hot for them. But when I was growing up, I did not understand this. I came through the conventional school system, which leaves out everything you need to know about finance and making money and investing. So I was on that track to get a job, to get the right career, to make money. And I was supposed to live happily ever after, but it didn't work out that way and it rarely does. And I'll tell you why, because you have to go out and find people who are successful financially and reverse engineer what they did. Reverse engineer, R-E, I keep that little acronym in my head. It's one of the most powerful acronyms that you can remember, R-E, reverse engineer. So for example, when I was starting out, I was like, what would it take to become a millionaire? And I'd go, all right, win the lottery. A lot of people play the lottery. And then some people, one or two, become millionaires. But if you reverse engineer, I asked myself this one day, I started studying, what makes the most millionaires? What's made the most millionaires in the United States? Self-made, not people who inherited their money. And the answer is, ta-da, real estate. Now, you don't even have to be trying to make a million dollars or become a millionaire, but just think about that. Reverse engineer that and put it into your life. It's not just about a career, but it's about also passive income because your career is active income. You work on your career, you go to your job, even if you're an entrepreneur, right? But what about when you're asleep? Here's a crazy statistic. If you, just listen to this for a second. If you make, what's minimum wage? Let's say, let's just say 15 bucks an hour. That's $30,000 a year, right? But what happens if you make $15 an hour 24 seven, okay? Now that's $90,000 a year, triple it. But you can't work 24 hours a day. So that means you have to have this other thing called passive income. And passive income means, I lock myself in my own living room here. I'm gonna go out this way. <laughs> I was filming over here. So what I started doing is going, I gotta have my active income, job, career, entrepreneurship, but I wanna reverse engineer the passive income that the most millionaires have ever, uh, the most, what has created the most millionaires ever, sorry. And that's real estate. So more than 10 years ago, I had a business partner. I said, will you mentor me? His name was John, he lived in Raleigh, North Carolina. And he started showing me. He had basically retired, self-made millionaire by age, I think 30 or 32 or something, 35 maybe. And he started showing me, Ty, real estate's not as hard as everybody thinks. So I invested there in Raleigh, North Carolina. We bought some houses, we renovated them, we rented them out, started making some passive income. Then I moved back to California, so I sold those properties. And next thing changed my life was, well, I'm not gonna go into that because I started getting a little more sophisticated with real estate. But forget that. For those of you, if you're watching, you're not that sophisticated with real estate, just do what I did. Start out with some small projects. Buy one property a year. Eventually, you'll own your own block. And so I remember what my mentor taught me. And I have buddies that are top real estate investors here in LA and the United States and overseas. I said, why don't we do the same thing? Let's launch a test group. Take a small handful of people of any age, of any nationality, of any whatever. We have people from Sweden got came in. One of the first kids who came in was like a 21 year old from Texas. His family never made more than 30 grand a year. He made 30 grand the first month. Now that's exceptional. Most people don't do that well, even in our test group. And I did that about open that about two years ago. Then I kind of closed it and reopened it, made a few test groups and started changing people's lives. And not just in the US, by the way, if you're listening, I got people who follow me from all over. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open it back up. It was a test group people paid to get in. I know that you might be a little tight on money. So I'm gonna pick up part of the cost. I'm gonna give you a partial scholarship. I'm gonna give you a partial scholarship. Now, here's the caveat. I can't do it for everybody because a lot of people paid full time, full price to be in this test group. So right now, you click the link below or in the corner and I'm gonna pay 
part of the scholarship, or I'm gonna pay part of the cost as a partial uh, scholarship, but you got five days. You got five days, and then I'm closing it. It's not fair to leave it open to every, uh, for everybody when other people paid full price, right? Here's the thing about life, you snooze, you lose. And it's especially that way in investing. I can't tell you how many things I look back and I'm like, man, I could have doubled, tripled my income. I could have raised it 20% at this time, but I hesitated. He or she who hesitates is lost. He or she who hesitates is lost. That's an old saying, but even worse, <laughs> he or she who hesitates go broke. So look, you don't have to try to, you know, this is Beverly Hills. People live here, they're billionaires. I'm not saying you gotta start. You, in fact, don't start that way. It's too high risk, you know, too, too high risk. I buy real estate all across the United States. I bought, uh, I do more raw land, which I don't recommend you start with, but it's something I like to do. But I started out with simple houses. You can even flip houses without owning them. There's a way to do it without having much cash, even if you don't have cre uh, great credit. Go here, get the partial scholarship. There should be a link in the corner or down in the description. Um, and if you don't wanna do it, that's okay. Someone else will take your spot. And if you click and it says that the partial scholarships are closed, you missed it, just put your email in. You can go on the wait list. So I believe this simple thing, real estate will continue to create passive income and wealth for millions of people who get in. And remember, the people who don't get in are the ones making the few wealthy. And I know that's not fair, and people talk about that. I'm not saying it's fair. It's just the nature of the game. It's, don't hate the player, hate the game. All the people renting are making the person who owns the building rich. And there's nothing wrong with renting. I've rented at times. I've rented multiple times. There's a time you should rent, but there's also a time you should buy. And in this test group, we're gonna teach you how to get started, how to improve your credit. We're gonna talk about if you don't have great credit, if you have great credit, we'll tell you how to use that so you can use other people's money, how to find investors, how to find properties, whether you should go close, local, or should go far away. It depends where you live. We'll talk about the areas uh, in the world and the United States where we think are the hottest right now. It'll be, I'll be inside the test group teaching. You can do it all from your phone. So um, you just need a laptop, phone to get in the test group. So anyway, I'll put up a page on my website. It's free to click and get a little bit of training now. Go here in the link on the bottom. And I just tell you, one of my big regrets, somebody should have told me at 18 years old, because you could buy a real estate, you could buy real estate before you're 18 in most countries, but at least at 18, someone should have said, buy your first property at 18. And the next one, even if you want to buy one a year, you start accumulating. That's how you get wealthy. That's how you increase your net worth. That's how you become not a slave to the financial system. The average person in the United States, and this goes for many countries, saves about $5 for every $100 they work for. They only keep five. The rest goes to taxes. It goes to rent. It goes to car payments and insurance companies and all this stuff. And left with five bucks. You can be on that treadmill for the rest of your life. You know, and people whine and they complain, and I was whining and complaining, I still do sometimes, but what I realized is don't hate the player, hate the game, and learn how to play the game of life and the game of financial freedom. And that's what this is about, you know. I've been talking about this for years. 100 million plus people have watched or seen my videos on YouTube and Facebook. And I don't say that to brag. What I say is I've seen what's working and I've seen what's not. And real estate works. Internet businesses work, uh, drop shipping works, lots of stuff works, social media marketing works, but real estate is a passive source of income that while you sleep, people paying their rent. It might be to you, right? While you're sleeping, money's coming in. It appreciates over time. Remember, the world has 7.5 billion roughly. This planet ain't getting any bigger, but there's more people. It's gonna be 10 billion people probably in your lifetime. Where are all those people gonna live? pieces of property. Invest now. I believe in diversifying what you invest, but I also believe that basically everybody who can, and as most people, should at least own one investment property, if not more. At least one. So let us train you how to do it. I had a mentor. My mentor, John, helped me out a lot because he just gave me the confidence to do it and showed me that I wasn't so complicated because I grew up, you know, I lived, last part of my teenage years, I'm living in a mobile home. 
okay? <laughs> I didn't grow up around fancy real estate, but that mentor changed my life. And this test group is gonna be different people in there, I'll be in there, and some of my buddies that I talk into, these are people. One of the guys that's gonna be teaching there, Cole, bought a property in Orange County, he's flipping it for a million dollars profit, you know? Now again, that's exceptional. I'm not promising you're gonna make a million bucks. In fact, I don't even encourage, I encourage you to go small on your first one. Try to make five or $10,000 profit, especially if you can do it relatively quick. And there's different strategies you can flip, you can wholesale, you can buy and hold, you can do raw land, which is what I like in development, but let us walk you through it, okay? Get in the test group. Now remember, to be clear, you got less than five days. I do that because it'd be fair to the people already in the group and because I'm trying to select for the people that they just get it. Some people don't get it, and I don't want to convince people. If you don't get that real estate works, no one's ever going to convince you. I don't want to try to woe to the person, woe to the man who teaches people when they're not ready. That's an old saying, an old proverb, I believe it. Woe to the person. You ever try to teach somebody who's not ready? It's frustrating. So if you're ready, come on in. you got less than five days. So, yeah. Where'd my dogs go? I was going to throw these, uh, I got these little... These German shepherds literally live to chase. Oh, that's the bigger one. This one. Anyway, I'm out. That was a whatever, 10 minutes or something. But that, that man, I'm telling you, this is what I really believe. Some people go, oh, Ty, you know, you're jaded. I mean, you're biased because, you know, people, you're making money and off. Yeah, but it's not that simple. You can believe in what you sell. That's what I do. You know, don't mean it's a scam. You think real estate investing is a scam? Really? It's only a scam when people tell you that you're gonna make a million bucks right away and it's easy and everybody could do it. That's not what I'm saying. In fact, I'm saying most people won't do it. Most people are lazy. This is for you if you look deep inside yourself and you go, I'm ready to try something new. What Einstein said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. If your finances ain't going as you want, Experiment more. This will be a great experiment. Okay? It's changed many lives. 2016, I don't know, 10,000 people or I think about maybe less than that. Train 5,000, 10,000 people. And then we close it up. So get in now. Click the link.